my name is ashish ashish agarwal and i'll be delivering this lecture to you so before commencing the session just a quick round of update regarding my youtube channel which is youtube.com slash ashish agarwal underscore gg so if you haven't visited the channel i would request you to do visit the channel and do like share and subscribe the channel the channel is dedicated to golden gate related thank you okay now how do you upgrade this parallel replicate to so how do you upgrade your existing replicate which is running to parallel replicators what you need to do you know you do info rep int 09 okay now your rep int 09 is has read the data until this point onwards sequence 16 and rba this so what you need to do you need to do alter pa rep ext seq no 16 ext rba 65725. So basically, what will happen until this point, REP INT09 has read the data. From this point onwards, PA REP will read the data. Press enter. Once you are done, then start PA REP. So there is a command like if you want uh, uh, duplicate suppression remains active. So what happens is if any transaction has already been processed, Golden Gate will not process those transactions. So if you want those transactions to be processed again, start your replicate with no filter dup transaction. No filter dup transaction means it will not filter the duplicate transaction. Okay, so start, we cannot start PREP. Why? Because we haven't created the parameter file yet. So each golden gate process needs the parameter file for it. So we'll create the parameter file. But for now, our PA REP, our existing parameter, our, our existing replicate has been upgraded. Now you can use this to start. But we'll create the parameter. So I'll quickly copy view param REP int 09. Copy the content of this. Edit param PA REP. Okay. So user ID alias is this. This is okay. This is okay. Now, we have to use these parameters. We have to use the parameters map parallelism, which, will, which we are going to use for. So we want to run four mappers, and we can use four appliers as well. Okay, now if you want to use, say, for example, min apply parallelism, say, for example, two and max apply parallelism as eight. So you don't need apply parallelism in that case. In that case, it will be auto tune. Apply parallelism will be auto tune. So I'll just comment this out for now. Okay, once you are done, save it and close it. And start. Uh, I did edit param pa rep. Oh, I didn't change the name here as well. It should match pa rep with the name of the replicate process. Now you are done. Save it and close it. Now start pa rep. So once if pa rep starts and runs successfully, that means your existing replicate is successfully upgraded to parallel replicate. But it doesn't start. How can I find it is not running? How can I find the issue? View report, PARP. If you go down, it says a catalog name is specified for target table, but no schema name is specified for source table parallelism. Okay, let us see. What does that mean? So it says catalog name is specified, but no schema name is specified for source table parallelism. Oh, we have given map space. It should be map underscore. That's why there was space. So it was considering map as this, this map. <laughs> Start PARB. Now let us see in fall. So can we say that this uh, Parallel replicate is running right now. Now, 
because time since checkpoint is yet not less than 10 seconds. Okay, now it is less than 10 seconds. Now it's okay. So your, you can now say successfully that your parallel replicate is now, so your existing replicate is now successfully upgraded to parallel replicate. Now, what you need to do, you just need to do some transaction. Anyways, in our environment, we have heartbeat table. So if you check PREP statistics, you will see that it is already implementing heartbeat table data. So existing replicate will show until and unless you delete. So if you don't want to use it, you can delete it. So now if you want to do, you can successfully go ahead and delete. So until you delete it, it will show you. So if you don't want it anymore, you can delete it. Okay. Another thing, like if you're concerned that it, it might start automatically or other thing. So what you can do, you can in the parameter file, you can comment this first line name of the replicate or you can put some junk character so even if you try to start that replicate it won't start so sometimes what happens is we don't want to delete this process immediately we want to wait for five days or a week before we delete the existing one so that to ensure that new one is working fine right but to ensure that no one accidentally starts it right so what we have done is we have edited that replicate parameter file we have i have commented out the name so even if now if someone try to start you won't be able to start. see an unexpected value first parameter must be one of replicate special run etc 